opening and goal for the Oceanic. Dylan Montcalm at center, Antoine Dufault, La Plante left wing. And uh, on defense, the big Andrew Pico at six foot three. And the Monctonian, Dominic Cormier, starting as well. 5'10", 165, 17-year-old. Loose puck in front, there's a shot right off the bat, they score! Well, I can't look down at my stats very often. It came off the face-off. <laughs> Askew threw it over to Garland, and Mike, you saw the... Trailing him through the middle of the ice. Merkel hit the blue line, looked like offside from here. He'll spin back and throw it along the wall for Antoine Dufort plant throwing it across the blue line. Back to Burke. Burke trying to throw it in the slot. There's a shot by the Oceanic, they score! Eiler Boland, St. John's Newfoundland native. Nice wrist shot, beating off the face off with Anthony Chapadou. Six foot three winger, more or less covering Garland out there. Garland picks up a loose puck at the blue line, slides it over, nice pass to Askew. Askew cutting it on the circle, around the back of the net to Garland. Chip pass, bouncing puck. Garland trying to knock it in from midair as he was going by, and that had potential to Ramuski penalty kill, usually good, third overall in the league. Uh, but the Wildcats have done an excellent job at getting pucks to the goal, and they really haven't met much resistance so far in this first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Cam Askew has the puck behind the net, trying to hit Connor Garland at the other post. Garland centers it a shot by Steve Johnson. What a save by Gando, who fell forward to knock that out of the air with the trapper. Garland setting him up. Oceanic breakout of the ring. Belahorsky along the boards. Following the play is Belahorsky inside the Wildcat zone, coming out of the corner, throwing it to the net, loose puck in front, open side. Number 10 with a shot, they, no, it didn't go in. Somehow Man Dixon got that. I was ready to call her. Third power play of the afternoon. Cats 15 shots at this point in the game on Louis-Philippe Gandon. Moncton on the power play, trailing two to one. Munition de l'Océanic, numéro 10, Anthony Chapados. Two minutes for roughing. Roughing the call on Chapado. Garland to the side of the net to Askew. They score! What a play! Big Cam Askew. That's his parking spot. What a beautiful play to get it upstairs in a hurry. Great skater number 27 turns the corner at the circle, fires it to the net. Rebound to Liam Murphy, but he couldn't get the stick on it. With the open side, what a hit by Malatesta through the middle of the ice. Ramuski players going after Malatesta. The linesman's in there. Here come the Wildcats. Meanwhile, a fight breaks out of the blue line. Kelly Klima throwing some haymakers there. A number 14, Dustu. Clean hit, Klima winning that fight. Down goes Dustu. What a hit by Malatesta. He's got a headlock there. Gando's out of the blue. Brad Mills and Kevin Arsenault, 2-2 tie. Ramuski with the puck at the Moncton blue line. Big Pico number 42 sliding it across to Cormier. Back to Pico on the wing. It's thrown from the corner and deflected in. I think it was a pass going the other way. Ends up in the net over the right shoulder of Blademan. Will Smith along the boards in the corner tying up his man. Kozak moves in. It's still in the Moncton zone. Kept in there by Simon Book. He'll in front of the net. There's a shot. Man Dixon, big save on a deflection. Bochemet coming in from the point. Dixon. Grabbed it from the air, falling forward. Hi, Gando. Liam Murphy from a sharp angle wide. Garland picks up the rebound. Garland behind the net. Pushed up against the glass. Liam Murphy still with it along the boards. Murphy and his Oceanic check player go down. That's Plant. Through the middle of the ice, thrown back in by Simon Bourque. Blade Man Dixon lets it go to Coulomb. Moncton defenseman around the net, centered loosely in front. There's a loose puck in front, another shot. Man Dixon, a save there. Casually played by Coulomb, it ends up in front of the net. Shot from the blue line, the open side. I thought Garland could actually put that in the open net. He passed to Steven Johnson. Close call there, Garland with the puck behind the Ramwiski net. Garland, still with it. Coming out from behind the Ramwiski net. Cutting to the middle. Along the boards, he'll cut across the blue line in full pursuit. Ramuski player on him. Garland gets a clip in the face. The head went back. Penalty coming up. Ramuski. Garland shooting it. Johnson with the open side. Gandon down. Again by Connor Garland. Drawing another penalty. A hooker, a high. Liam Murphy picking it up in full flight. Murphy will put the brakes on in the corner and throw it back to the point. Moncton trailing by a goal. The Cats are on the power play. Howell fakes the slap shot to Connor Garland at the circle. Garland will drive from the front of the net. They score! Murphy! What a setup by Connor Garland! One timer to Liam Murphy! And number 14 from Moncton ties things up.
with his eighth of the year. Connor Garland won a second. Uh, but Gando getting lucky, stopping it with the pad. 12 seconds to go in the overtime. Moncton has the puck inside the blue line. It's in front to Kozak. Kozak moving into McEwen. No, Kozak in the open net. They score! It's in the net, and the Cats win it with 3.7 seconds. Austin Kozak on a broken play. He took the shot. He got his rebound back, and he buried it. It could have been Kozak, it could have been a Ramuski player. There were two Oceanic players in the blue paint with Gando, and the puck ended up in the net. Zach McEwen was the closest Wildcat to it, but I think you're right. I think it's Kozak, either him on the